I touched one for the first time, they're hard. Have you ever had a dream that that you um you have you you would you can you... Mm, 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 mm. All right, finally. Took us long enough. What are we, amateurs? Yeah, this is it's amateur hour here. This is at ADHD the podcast. Yeah. <sighs> Amateur. Soon, we will be recording in a new location. Hi. Super excited. Um, yeah, I got a got proof my, for a house finally, and we'll be finally sold my other house. Yeah, and we'll be we'll be recording there. But <sighs> thank God, our friend Ethan got us a fun gift, which will be a surprise until yes, it's a surprise for you guys. He wanted it to be a surprise for us, and then he got he was like, oh, "I'll just show you." Right. <laughs> All right, but. Uh, in the meantime, without further ado, uh, hold on. Hold, please. Do I know what I'm doing? No. Ugh, that's my schedule for work. <laughs> okay. I've said it once and I'll say it again. Fuck! Maddie Barron. Uh, and I love baseball so much that I bat for both teams. I hate you. Devin Carter. <laughs> I knew that one would get you. That one made my mom giggle. Really? Yeah. She was like, why did he say that? I was like, because it's funny. Because <laughs> it's funnier than saying, hi, I'm bi. I right. bat for both teams. Period. One of them sucks ass right now. I'm <laughs> below 500. Men? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you put can, two and two together. Can, can confirm. I'm so glad you put two and two together. Um. So Maddie's life. Uh, I don't know what she did, but her karma is really bad lately. Somebody, somebody's got a voodoo doll, and I want to talk. Um, her car doesn't work. Her air conditioner in her apartment doesn't work. She that doesn't know how me. to do math. Uh, that one, actually, I do know how to do. <laughs> Good. You're getting so better at it. Maybe that's why I, everything else sucks. Fair I'm enough. Because I'm finally learning how to do math. I've never known how to do math. Like, you can't, you can't have it all. <laughs> no. I said, fuck you. Right. I hung up with my mom this morning. I said, I have fun with your air conditioning in your car. <laughs> she was like, that was kind of funny. Thank you. So today, uh, we're going to talk about something that you either love it or you hate or it. Or you hate it. There's really no in between. Nope. Um, reality TV. <laughs> it's not reality at all. Honestly. <laughs> um, here's my thing. I like reality TV competitions Mm. i don't love reality tv like teen mom my 600 Mm. pound life um those are weird honey boo boo nope i'm so good toddlers and tiaras that one was kind of funny dance moms i'll do dance moms all day long i forgot to put that one on the list but that one i watched religiously growing up cake boss that's a reality tv show i love cake boss i cake, do love cake boss. i love cake i went to cake boss in la and it was great brag about Cannolis. it a little more in la yeah he has like an la oh i was like i thought he was from in new the york later seasons he moved from hoboken he like got multiple like locations and there was one in la and i was like mom <laughs> i can't not go in cannolis fire 10 out of 10 recommend but no i love like i love competition shows i don't love like the you're too competitive for me. I love games. What can I say? You're too competitive. I can't. That's do just because you're bad at games. That was uncalled for. <laughs> that was the competition. That in was me. uncalled. I can't for. see your eyes, and it kind of makes me uncomfy. That's the point. Anyhow. Anywho. <laughs> um. So, do you want to go first, or do you want me to go first? Well, I can. How about I just name off the best reality TV shows of all time, quote unquote? Maybe. Is that like a list from some guy on the internet? Okay, so this isn't like your opinion. No, this is just a list I pulled from the internet. I googled Period. it and I copied and pasted it. <laughs> now we're here. Okay. So the first best reality TV show of all time, The Real World, which is still, debatable, which is still going on. Apparently, well, I read the description of it. it kind of sounds like Big Brother. I'm not gonna like just without the competitions. Mm. Like it's like they put them in a house, bunch of cameras. And they see who, like, when everybody lets down their walls and, like, can lie and be deceitful and everything, they see what happens. It's basically a social experiment, experiment, which okay. is what Big Brother was. Yeah. Um, second one, Survivor. I love Survivor. Understandable. Survivor is really good if you haven't watched it. I just got her into Survivor. It was great. It is great. So, no, it was. <laughs> <laughs> no, but your family is different than mine because... Your family watched competition shows. I was going to say, I feel like my family is Survivor, Big Brother, 
your uh, amazing race your family is like the real housewives cake oh, boss no, my mom does i i watch cake boss my mom didn't my mom's more of a food network hgtv type of girl i love food network chopped do any of those count because i could list off a whole fist i feel like chopped those. counts it's a competition but like show. other than chopped like beat bobby flay or like yeah worst cooks of america yeah. celebrity edition that one's funny um number three the bachelor slash the bachelorette because they're both the same thing um number four is rupaul's drag race i've never actually seen it neither have i um so i can't say yes or no right i've always wanted to watch it but i've just never never got into it um number five i hate with a burning passion uh keeping up with the kardashians <clears throat> fucking hate it never i will never sue me kim K. on my life never watch i will never watch it i will not if i cave to that point shoot me okay cool deal okay uh number six american idol eh. Yeah. Kelly I'm, Clarkson. Yeah. That's the only good thing that's come out of it. Did Carrie Underwood go on American yes. Idol? Okay. I think she was the first winner. I fuck with Carrie Underwood. Carrie Underwood's great. Um, <laughs> the Great British Baking Show. I <laughs> love that show. I love it. It's great. It's just a bunch of British people just baking, and it's great. Um, Number eight, I loved as a child. What would you do? Like, do you know with what I'm With John Kianos? Yes. I, yeah. Where they, like, send somebody in as a fake scenario and see what strangers do. Like, sometimes do. I'll go down the rabbit hole on YouTube just watching. Oh, yeah. It's great. I was like. And like, sometimes I tear up. I'm not going to lie. I am a little bit. He's a, he's a sympathy crier. I, I am an so empathetic crier. So if you crier. cry around him, he will cry with you. Which I guess Unless you're just being a bitch, then, like, uh, but. Well, that's on you. <laughs> okay. So that's. I didn't give a number, but that's eight. Big Brother's not even on the list. <laughs> Not on this one that I pulled, no. Wow. I think it was on a couple other ones that I looked at, but this is just the first one I pulled. Gotcha. gotcha. You can put Big Brother wherever you want. Mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck. So which ones are you going to talk about today? So today, I'm going to talk about Shark Tank. Fucking love Shark Tank, dude. Fuck I come from, my mom's very business oriented, so it's yeah, really funny. that makes sense. It's really funny watching her, like, watch the show and be like, She's like, ah. 8% equity. That's L bullshit. Literally. She's like, that wouldn't sell well. That would not sell well. And I was like, okay, mom. I'll be also be talking about The Bachelor's House Bachelorette because I grew up on that shit. Probably shouldn't have watched it. But I did anyway. Um, I'll be talking about Undercover Boss. Did you ever watch Undercover <gasps> yeah. Boss? Yeah. That's like, my dad used to watch that one all the time. He loves that show. Um, Impractical Jokers. Ooh. That one's a good my one. My family loves Impractical Jokers. Yeah. That one's just a fun, lighthearted show to watch. Yeah. When you want to just laugh. And the world sucks. Um, another one that I watched as a child, which is probably a little problematic and probably a little bit of a reason why I turned out the way I am. Uh, Biggest Loser. Ooh. Yeah. I So I don't like that show for multiple reasons. No, um, it's bad. It's really, really bad for like body image. It's very unhealthy. I watched that show as a In the way that they like child. lose weight. Yeah. Um, and then I can, I, I have Survivor on there, but you obviously are going to talk about oh, Survivor, yeah, but I figured Survivor. I could give my input as well because I'm a That's newer. like a new watcher. Yeah. But those are my list of like favorite reality TV shows. You can also throw Cake Boss on there and any competition show from HGTV or Food Network because I fuck with those. So, um, this is basically an ad for Survivor and Big Brother. Uh <laughs> Unfortunately, yes. Um, so I'll talk about Survivor first since... We, like, just recently talked about it, like, just a couple of seconds ago. <laughs> That'll be the first one. Um, <clears throat> so, Survivor um, has multiple, like, franchise branches off of Sur Survivor? Survivor US. Yeah, there's Survivors uh, all around the world. There are 22 oh, yeah. different variations slash countries that host Survivor. Um, Don't look at me. <laughs> Survivor US aired on May 31st of 2000. Ah! That's the summer I was Almost born. Almost a Taurus. Yeah. <laughs> the summer I was born. Uh, Gemini. And I think the biggest reason I... Survivors are Gemini. The, I think the biggest reason I watch Survivor and Big Brother is because they both aired the year I was born. Mm. Uh, and my That'll mom started it. watching them. So I've watched it literally my entire life. Yeah. Um, for the last nine seasons, Survivor US has filmed it in Fiji. Yes. Um, but they have filmed all over the world. Um, Panama... Cambodia, uh, there was Survivor China, there's just so many different places, Venezuela, Nicaragua, um, but I'm going to talk about my, okay, so the premise of Survivor um, is people are put on an island, and they start out on like two tribes, sometimes three, 
depending on the season. Uh, and they have immunity competitions, and the people who win immunity are good. That's the end for them. Then the tribe who loses goes to tribal council, and everybody votes somebody off. And there's hidden immunity idols that make people safe. And then once you get to the merge, whoever wins individual immunity is safe. And it's just a, it's just really good. It's a lot easier to understand if you actually watch it. Because like yeah. listening to you explain that was really confusing. And I've watched the show. <laughs> I was like, what? But 10 out of 10 would, re- would recommend watching it. Um, most seasons, it's a million dollar prize for the person who wins. Uh, Winners at War was $2 million. Dollars. Um, but I'm just going to talk about my favorite players of all time. Uh, so first up, we have Tony. Tony's obviously, a Tony's a G. Uh, he's the only man to win twice, uh, and he's the <laughs> second. Oh, he's the second person <laughs> to ever win twice. Uh, he won Survivor Kagiyan, which was Braun versus Brain mm-hmm. versus Beauty, which we need to watch that season. Okay. Um, and then he also won Winners at War. Uh, so 2014 and 2020. I was rooting for Michelle on Winners at War. Same, right? honestly. Um, and on Winners at War, the season he won, he never received a vote against him. That's so, so like, fucked be voted up. out. Do you know how many times I yelled at that TV being like, vote that fucker out, he's gonna win. Oh, absolutely. And I think it's a big, it's a big social game. And Survivor a lot of the times promotes itself as being like a microcosm of just like society. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, Next favorite player is Natalie. Uh, also she a G. won. She's a boss bitch. Yeah, she's a ba- boss bitch. She won uh, San Juan del Sur, which was Blood versus Water, and mm-hmm. she played with her twin that season. Yeah. Um, and then she uh, played Winners at War. She was the first person voted out, the only person in Survivor history voted out on day two. Um, and then she came back from exile and made it to final three. Which wasn't is just, it, wasn't it extinction? Extinction, yeah. Extinction. extinction, which is just like bad bitch energy. Oh, 100%. Um, Natalie, I also loved her nose ring. Yeah. <laughs> Natalie's also tied with Michelle, the one you like. Oh, I, lo- I'm, I, I told Devin this. I want to get a t-shirt that says Team Michelle, but nothing about Survivor, just Team Michelle. <laughs> right? Nobody can just figure it out. Just all Michelle's. Just all Michelle's on Team. Um, but she's tied with Michelle for the most challenge wins for a female winner. With 13 challenge wins. Fuck yeah. I love 13. Which you is know iconic. Why? why? Taylor Swift's favorite number. That's oh. why I remember when to pay my credit card bills. Because it's always due on the 13th. <laughs> That's what I told her about. <laughs> she goes, I forgot to text you yesterday. It's okay. I was like, it's okay. I remember because 13, Taylor Swift's favorite number. Duh. <laughs> Anyhow. Where did, the, where did the obsession... She's born on December 13th. No, I'm saying where did your obsession with Taylor Swift come from? Like, she's a good, she's a great artist. But, like, her favorite Shh. number. She was, like, the first. So, I remember the first, like, two songs I remember hearing are Sweetest Escape by Gwen Stefani. And, oh, what's that song by Train? Marry Me? No. Fuck. There's a song by Train that I remember hearing. But she is the first artist that I ever loved. Like, the first artist, like, somebody introduced me to, and, like, I heard her whole discography. Like, I had a person that came and picked me up from school. Like, we would carpool, and she would play her albums in the car. And so I would hear them, and then I went to her concert, and then it's... Well, I died off there for a minute. So when she went into hiding Mm -hmm. between, like, 2016 and 2017, story time. When she um, went to hibernation. Yeah, no, quite literally. Um... I, like, kind of fell off because I was, like, everybody was, like, fuck Taylor Swift. Like, there was a whole, like, cancel Taylor Swift thing. Is that, that before her Reputation era? Mm-hmm. Reputation? My favorite album. Favorite era ever. It was right before. That. That's what caused the Reputation era. Mm. So, like, she. When everyone was, like, fuck Taylor Swift. Yeah. Swift. So, she came out of hiding and then I. Which, why? Like, why? Because there was a whole. Okay, so. If I'm not caught up on celebrity drama. I know. Okay, so if you're ever interested in actually learning about, like, the whole, like, reason why Taylor Swift, like died off for like a year and then came back during a reputation area there's a whole there's a whole documentary on netflix called miss americana and the heartbreak prince delicious um it basically explains like why she went why why what happened happened so okay <laughs> i think this actually fits really well with reality tv i yeah. feel like reality tv and like celebrity drama kind okay of is in the same i'm realm. gonna go off on a tangent for like 
quick minute because nobody ever asked me about Taylor Swift, so this is great. Okay, so I can't remember what year it was. It was probably in 2010s. She won a MTV Music Award, I think, for okay. like best video. Fact check me on this. I don't fully remember it. My brain's also not really working. Um, and I think Beyonce was up for the same award. And Kanye <gasps> West. Oh, I, when Kanye stormed on stage yeah. and was like, you don't deserve this. I'm going to let you finish, but. Yeah, so. Which was so fucked up. It I, was. Ugh, Kanye West can eat shit. I hate him with a burning passion. Um, fuck him. He just thinks he's God. I know. Quite literally. Yeah. <laughs> so that all happens. And she, she couldn't tell if they were booing him or booing her. Like, because, mm. yeah, so... And that, she was so young. Wasn't she, she in her teens? Yeah, like she was a she teenager. She was probably teens or early 20s. I think, She's I'm like pretty 30 sure, now. I'm pretty sure she was a teenager. Yeah, so that all happens. And then quite a few years later... Which, like, you're a grown man. Literally. And she's a teenage... Anyways. Anyhow, so uh, quite a few years later, they... Kanye West writes a song that incorporates, like, her in the song. But it... He calls her a bitch in it, and she, they, like, had a call, and, like, she, like, let him, like, put her in the song, but didn't realize, like, he didn't disclose what it was saying about her or in, like, what context she was going to be in. Mm-hmm. So the song came out, and, like, every, like, I think the context was, like, Taylor Swift, I made that bitch famous, because he thinks that because oh he got God. up on stage at that one award show and that the he's fact the reason. she re- won a literal award. She has so many Grammys, dude. I'm pretty sure he pro- she probably has more than him. Fuck Kanye West if we haven't already said that. <laughs> I fucking hate his guts. But yeah, she like, that's spiraled into the whole cancel Taylor Swift thing. So she just said, bye y'all. And <laughs> wrote a whole album and then released it. Her reputation album, which is. I think hands down one of her best albums. It's really good. Wasn't up for a Grammy at all. It didn't really? it didn't get nominated or obviously it didn't win. Huh. I know. So <laughs> there's Taylor Swift. <laughs> you wanna know one of my favorite albums of all time? What? Beyonce's Lemonade album. I don't think I've ever listened to it all. Oh, like it's so fucking good. She's phenomenal. I don't know. I know that I know that Beyonce is like really like, like one be- of the she's best. She's the queen. Yes, one of the best one of like the best artists of all time but i like unless it's one of her popular songs i've never really listened to her music that's fair but i feel like that's like it's really popular i'm just like not gonna listen to it because i'm different but you listen to taylor swift <laughs> shut the fuck up <laughs> shut up anywho um okay so after natalie um my next favorite is sarah also a good one sarah lucina every season that cop. she has played she's played with tony that's so fun. All three seasons, they've all they both played three seasons, and they've all like each season they were playing together, <laughs> like on the same I season. I love that. Um, so Sarah played Kagiyan, which is Bronze Brains and Beauty. Yeah. Um, Game Changers and Winners at War. Was she on Bronze Brains and Beauty? Uh huh. Like, which she was Bronze. Okay. Um, she won Game Changers. Mm-hmm. Sarah is the first person, first player to tell Jeff to call her by her last name <laughs> <laughs> to use a, a steal a vote correctly. And, like, vote for the person who gets eliminated. Mm. She's also the first person to use a legacy advantage successfully and prevent her elimination. Mm. Mm-hmm. So just iconic. So many people Icon. play idols wrong and play advantages wrong. And yeah. it just doesn't work out. She super strategic player. And she's phenomenal. Um, last person. You can't talk about Survivor without talking about the queen. Duh. Uh, Sandra. Who she's just, she's known as the Queen of Survivor. She's the first player to ever win twice, first woman to win twice. Um, she's played five seasons of Survivor, and has spent a hundred and twenty six days playing that's Survivor. Too many days. Like that's too many wild. Too many days. Um, she won Pearl Island, which was in two thousand and three, mm-hmm. and then uh, won Heroes versus Villains, which is two thousand ten. Mm. Hero or villain? Villain. Of course. Duh. Um, she's also the first Latin American castaway to make it to final tribal. tribal. Period. Work. Um, and she's the first winner who later competed at an international version of Survivor. Sick. But Go yeah, her. Sandra's just the queen. And period. Period. Um, yeah. I really didn't like... I get it in Winners at War. Am I the only thing in focus? I don't know. <laughs> Okay. I understand that, like, in Winners at War, she's like, I've done this fucking enough. Duh. And when she got voted out, she's like, I'm not going to stay on Extinction. And she just left. 
I also think that's just kind of like it was just kind of felt like poor sportsmanship. But also, I get it because she's the queen. She's like, I don't need this shit. Yeah, like at the at that rate, like she probably knew she wasn't going to beat all these people. Yeah. So why even compete? Like, to go home and take a shower. <laughs> Honestly, have a nice meal. Sleep in your own bed. Last thing about Survivor before I, before I hand it over to Maddie, um, Sorry. the host of Survivor and executive <laughs> pro- I love producer him. is Jeff Probst. I love him. He's from Wichita. I love Jeff. I did not know he was from here in hey, Wichita Jeff. until I moved here. Sorry. Maddie's a slut for Jeff Probst. I, he just, he cracks me up. He seems like he'd be really awkward. He I also know. does this thing when they start competitions. Here yeah. Go. Survivor's like, ready? Go! Like, why? Like, why not just go, go! Or like, go! Like, why, why the switching? I'll clip it, I'll clip it right here. Ready. Survivor's ready! Is it in focus? Go! Sorry. All right. What you got? Okay, I got, I'm gonna start with my, there's, too many seasons of The Bachelor and The Bachelorette for me to jump back and forth. So I just picked my favorite season by far because there's so many. There's just so many. Okay. So my favorite season of Bachelorette because The Bachelorette is arguably better than The Bachelor because there's more me. men than women. <laughs> Sorry. Anyhow. Okay. So my favorite Bachelorette season is Hannah Brown. I don't know if you've heard of her. It's season. It, I'm familiar with 15. the name. So but, my mom. It, Mark loves The Bachelor and That's Bachelorette. That's not surprising to me at all. Him, honestly. he and my mom watch it a lot. I never really got into it. Yeah, that's fair. It's kind of weird. I'm not like I've I've fallen off. I don't really watch it anymore. Well, it's also just not my type of reality TV. That's like I like fair. more competition based. And yeah. I get that this is kind of like a competition. They do. The, they could do competitions for like days. I could search up. I could. I could search up. A, could, could search up a, <laughs> there's a video of some girls mud wrestling. I've seen that. <laughs> Yeah. 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 So uh, what? I, so I pulled the IMDb ratings for for both Bachelorette and Shark Tank. So the Bachelorette's IMDb rating is three point three out of ten. Oh, yikes! So I don't know what that says, but it says something. So Hannah Brown, she icon. She did use a slur at some point, but we're not. Um, you know, icon. But like she uses slurs. Yeah, um, she was just, like, an icon in the Bachelorette, like, realm. I don't really like her outside of it, but, like, she kind of really was, like, a boss bitch and, like, didn't take shit from the guys, and it was great. But, basically, this guy named Jed won Ew, the season. first of all. Yes. The guy named Jed won the season, proposed to her, did all, you know, woohoo, engaged. I, I watched the end of the season and... Seattle, I vividly remember watching this. So he won, and then later found out that he had a girlfriend off the show <gasps> and just joined the show to promote his music career. And he sucked at singing. Like, I'm talking bad. Like, I'm going to clip it here. The road it's bad. <laughs> like, I, me and my mom were like, you have a music, sir, you have a music career? He went on, did his girlfriend? Oh yeah, his girlfriend was full, like, he said, no, I'm going on the show to promote, I'm like 98% sure he said, I'm going on the show to promote my music career and like, not planning on winning. That's messy. Yeah. There were a couple other moments that, like, some guy tried to, some, okay, so there's always a villain. Right. There's always a villain and a guy or a girl that's just like an absolute dick. Mm Mm-hmm. The producers only keep him on there, like, because drama, you right. know? And so I can't, I think his name was Luke or something stupid. <laughs> Maddie said, fuck all Lukes. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know one, and I don't talk to him. Um, but he basically tried, he got voted off, tried to come back on. And when he was, like, trying to talk to her, she picked up the podium that the roses were on and, like, moved the podium to get away from him. I was like icon i'm also gonna clip that here it's that was ca- hannah brown season yeah oh wait i'm gonna clip that here it's <laughs> my heart isn't broken yet because i'm still standing here and this isn't this isn't over for me yet oh my god well hey. all right did, 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 did you, you need to like loop okay so hannah brown season hannah brown iconic and then she just picked up and moved the podium yeah gotcha. and so she's dating somebody else that's completely unrelated to the bachelorette good for her franchise yeah she's i don't i can't remember his name, but like, yeah, she dumped Jed. 
fair enough. I probably would too. And just completely moved on. But yeah, that's my favorite. She was an icon and other than the slurs. But, you know, <laughs> can't all win. <laughs> okay. That's what. Right. That's all I got. You got another show? Yeah, I got Shark Tank. Let's go to let's okay. do Shark Tank. Shark Tank has a 7.7 out of 10. Okay, work. On IMD. Shark Tank premieres on Fridays. That's our, that's our, that's me and my mom's Friday night choice of TV shows. The Shark Tank? Shark Tank. Um, we will go back and we will like rewatch like Shark Tank. It's great. Is so, Shark Tank CBS? ABC. And Bachelor and Bachelorette is ABC? ABC. I'm an ABC mm, whore. So you're an ABC family. We're a CBS family. I'm an ABC whore. Um, so there's this one guy, you, Mr. Wonderful. You know who I'm talking about? Bald guy. Kind of an asshole. Ooh, yeah. Hate him. Fuck that guy. Hate him. Show would be ten times better if he wasn't. We're going to get a cease and desist order. (laughs) Fuck that guy. There's been 13 seasons of Shark Tank, which I thought there would have been more. Oh, by the way, 42 seasons of Survivor. That's too many. (laughs) So I pulled up top eight most successful shark tank products because shark tank is all about pitching and sometimes people pitch the most stupid shit you like sit there and you're like who's gonna use this (laughs) like some girl walked on there recently to sell headbands work (laughs) like handmade headbands and i was like that's what's that Etsy. etsy heard of this etsy super fun um, so number eight is the sleep styler. It's a product. Whoa. No shit. Okay. It's heat, heat free. I can't read by the way. So just buckle in. Um, heat free hair rollers created from memory foam to use while sleeping. So hair rollers. Okay. So I don't know what makes I guess like good. the memory foam rather than like the plastic rollers. Yeah. So they have more than a hundred million dollars in sales. Holy shit. Yeah. And they got a deal for $75,000 for 20 20- 25% stake in the company. So, like, Lori Lori got, like, what is that? A fourth? Yeah. I'm bad at math. Yeah. So, what? Oh. Bo- Boax? I didn't proofread this. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, it's, so, Boax, I think, it's an online seller of flowers that partners with eco-friendly farms. Interesting. Period. None... Shark, shark, what? Hello, mom, dad. That's three hundred million dollars in sales. I don't know. Tipsy elves. This one's a big one. I've okay. heard a lot about this one. It's a product. Hold on. Uh, holiday themed apparel, apparel in the form of ugly Christmas sweaters. Okay. So I think they're probably just like crude. I don't like know. Like shit you would find at Spencer's. Yeah, that kind of stuff. Okay. Yeah. So, ooh, this one's good. The original comfy. Do you know what I'm talking about? I have one. It's this huge sweatshirt that's sherpa lined and it's like Oh, okay. I've seen this on TikTok. Yeah. Super cool in theory. Makes me feel claustrophobic. And I'm kind of mad I let my mom spend money on it. <laughs> so yeah, it's just a wearable blanket with a hood. So think it's snuggie, like a snuggie, but heavy. Um, snuggie, but you wear it. Snuggie is you just stick your arms through and mm. it's like a blanket down the front. Yeah. This you like wear. Gotcha. Gotcha. Um, next is Simply Fit Board. It's, have you seen these things? I know what Simply Fit is. Is that the one that you like stand on? You and, stand like, and you twist. Oh. <laughs> you stand on it and you twist it. That's literally it. Um, they made, they made more than $160 million just 24 hours after the episode aired. Oh my gosh. That's impressive. Number three, Squatty Potty. I'm familiar with People Squatty Potty. I don't have the one. Squatty Potty. I've thought about investing in one and I haven't yet, but... If you don't know what the squatty potty is, it's basically just a stool. It lines your bowel so that it's like easier to poop, poop. Mm-hmm. which like I have no problems with. No, your shit's come out liquid. <laughs> but yeah, people love it. Um, it got you know a hundred and seventy-five million dollars in sales over its lifetime, and it went created a viral video and generated 20 million dollars in sales that year later gan gan mm -hmm. take your time the attention of dr oz howard stern and other celebrities okay number two scrub daddy oh people doesn't know scrub Scrub daddy Daddy. for the i like i don't know how to make this not sound weird 
I touched a scrub daddy for the first time. Like, first time. Sorry. <laughs> first time. Like, I touched a scrub. I hated it. Sorry. I touched one for the first time. They're hard. Really? Yeah. Before they get wet. <laughs> Out of context. This sounds bad. But, yeah. They're, like, I guess. Okay. So, Matthew had bought one. And I went and, like, picked it up. I was, like, why do you have a scrub daddy in the bedroom? <laughs> <laughs> and so i picked it up i was like wow i wasn't expecting it to be like rock hard <laughs> you're on a roll zinger anywho everybody loves a scrub daddy i see it all over tiktok it's basically a sponge in the shape of a smiley face that like the reason why it's a smiley face is so that you can like wash spoons and yeah, shit with yeah. the holes and the mouth <laughs> no i've seen so bad um there's, I think it's Ring Doorbell. You okay. Ring Doorbell. Yeah. They went on Shark Tank and like pitched and didn't get a deal. Oh. And now Ring Doorbell is like one of the biggest. I bet like, the sharks regret that. Oh, yeah. Owned by owned by Amazon. Big thing. Okay, yeah. So last and certainly not least, Bombas. I don't know, you know what, what that is. Are? They were, okay, so comfy socks and more recently t-shirts too. For every item purchased, the company donates, I can't talk. The company donates an item to organizations that help homeless people. Oh, so yeah, I've heard of the, yeah. They're supposed to be really nice socks, nice. expensive as hell, but really nice socks. Hell yeah. So yeah, those are, those are. Wait, coffee needs bagel. Yeah, Ring Doorbell, which is a doorbell that integrates with a smartphone and camera, allows you to see who is at your door. The company was rejected on Shark Tank, but has since become a billion-dollar company thanks to an acquisition by Amazon. Wow, that's wild. Yeah. All right. So. Shark Tank. Great show. Watch it. It's super fun. Now, this is my favorite reality TV show, uh, Big Brother. Mm-hmm. And I will be auditioning in February. So, please watch it if I get cast. Or please watch it, period. Um, so, Big Brother, similar to Survivor, has multiple franchises around the, the world. Um, some of the most notable, other than uh, Big Brother US, is Big Brother Canada. Big Brother UK, Big Brother Israel. So just places. And Big Brother Australia. Well, yeah. those are the countries that like host it. Yeah. Or like... Anyways, Big Brother US aired Man. July 5th, 2000. Also, Your hand during scared the, summer the shit I was out born. of me in that reflection. Holy shit. So, my favorite players. Um, I, I only put four down. I'll try to be quick. Um, Davon Rogers. Don't know who that is. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Wait a damn minute. Oh, I love her. Wait a damn minute. <laughs> Wait a damn. Um, season 17, 18, and 22, which was Jesus Big Brother All-Stars. Um, she's the first African-American house guest to win America's Favorite. Okay. Um, she's also the first woman of color to win the award. Mm. Um, she she gets a lot of heat uh, for being, quote, aggressive. Mm-mm. But she's never the aggressor Mm-mm. in the situations. Yeah. And people just hate on her. Um, I think she is a great player because she like sticks to her beliefs. Um, she's also like very loving and caring, but mm-hmm. like I said, people always trying to start shit with her. Um, but at the end of the day, she's like super honest. Um, Cody Calafiore. <laughs> is that not the guy that's an asshole on the season that we're currently watching? Different guy. That's a different, different Cody. Did my there's so many. Uh, uh, why do people have to have the same names? So Cody Kelly Fiore was the runner up you? for season sixteen, mm. and he won season twenty two, which was the same season as Devon that was on. Okay. Um, he is one of two people in Big Brother history to win a unanimous jury vote. Period. Um, the other one is Dan Giesling. Um, phenomenal social game, strategic, and he's also known for like having a perfect game of being mm-hmm. able to make it to the end and mm-hmm. never be on the block basically so tony yeah yeah um will kirby also known as dr will which i've told you about he's basically <sighs> big brothers boston rob okay um he won season two and played mm-hmm. on season seven mm-hmm. he's the one who created the term showmance for big brother mm. um i hope he doesn't know that there's never mind <laughs> And despite being recognized as the best Big Brother player in history, Dr. Will has never won a single competition. Uh-huh. A competition? Like never won, won a show. Well, like won the show, but has never won a competition in the show. Period. Work. 
And it's just, just because of his social game. He's That's just that good. So funny. Um, and the last one, Casey Clark. Mm-hmm. She won season 20. She's the first lesbian to win Big Brother. Period. And the second LGBTQ plus contestant to win overall. <gasps> Gay. Uh, she's the third person of color to win. Um, she's also the second Asian American to win. And is the first Asian American house guest of Filipino descent to win Big Brother. Um, Casey Clark is a fucking bad bitch. She's a G. She think Sarah mm-hmm. for Survivor. Yeah. That's Casey Clark. Period. For Big Brother. Mark. Um, she's just an icon, comp beast, super social. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, that's those are my favorite Big Brother players. Period. Uh, I will say, fuck Christmas. Fuck. I first of all, j- fuck Christmas because her name is Christmas. Yeah, Christmas the person. Parents, unoriginal. <laughs> like, uh, parents apparently really love Christmas. Yeah, we don't love Christmas. Uh, we also don't love Josh. Josh won a season. But he's also just kind of a dick. Is he? Does he win the season we're watching? Did you just spoil it? No, I don't think he wins oh the season. God. But he does win a different season. No, well, fuck that guy. Yeah. Fuck that guy. No, fuck you, dude. No, fuck you, dude. <laughs> um, but yeah, what? soon we will be recording in a new place. Let me check my calendar. Thank God. I feel like I'm in a prison. Um, it'll, it probably, it, mm, it might be next episode. It might be the episode after. If it's not next episode, it will be the episode after that. Um, I'm supposed to be moving. That's, it'll be an episode at some point. I'm supposed to be moving next week sometime. So fingers crossed. I have, I I've help. packed one box. Sick. <laughs> I really should get on that. Yeah. Uh, anyways. Thank you so much for listening to ADHD, the podcast. Sorry. Uh, follow us on... S- Will you stop? <laughs> follow us on Spotify, YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. Did um, you say YouTube? TikTok. Yeah. Spotify, YouTube. No Pinterest, no Twitter. Inst- no. Can we get a Pinterest? <laughs> no. Please. <laughs> Spotify, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok. We put out videos. Or at- email us if you <laughs> don't have any of those. <laughs> DM us on Instagram. Uh, we, just for shits and gigs we put out videos every other wednesday we're jenna marbles slash thursday that's been the dream um so yeah big money no panties cheers here's your big outro money, mama no panties. big money no panties big money no panties big money no panties here's your outro mama bye, bye. love you bye. have you ever had a dream